Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about a cool five different things about what it's like living here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let's get right into it. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome if this is your first time tuning into this channel where we talk about everything that's great about living here in our beautiful state of New Mexico. And aside from all that great information, I am also a local real estate agent here in Albuquerque and I service the surrounding area. So if there's anything I could ever help you out with as much as I love bringing these videos to you, I would also love to be the guy that you guys call out to. And that number popping up on the screen is my direct line. So if there's anything I could ever do for you, I am the one that answers all the calls, texts and emails. So feel free to reach out because I'd love to help you out. Yo, I don't want to take too much of your time. Let's get right into it. Five best things about living here in Albuquerque. Let's go. Yo, look, I'm sure by now you've kind of looked up what our city looks like through Google searches, through uh, Instagram, through Twitter, through Facebook, and I'm sure you're getting all these great pictures, beautiful pictures of what it, what our city looks like from our skyline to the Sandia Mountains, to the petroglyphs out in the West, to the middle of the Rio Grande Valley. We got it all here. We got a robust ecosystem. We got a little bit of everything for everyone. If desert's not your thing and you kind of want to be close to some water next to the river, we got that for you. If you want to live, live up in the mountains, just be 15 to 20 minutes away from civilization, we got that for you and our sunsets here i personally think hands down are the best beautiful oranges pinks uh purples i mean these sunsets you gotta be here to experience it yourself I, I can try to sell you on it all i want but unless you experience it for yourself see the hot air balloons flying through the middle of the rio grande uh, in october you see the snow fall in the mountains, uh, snow capped mountains. For, I can see them literally from my house and I'm on the other side of town. It's just beautiful everywhere that you look. Yeah, we are kind of a, a desert place. We have a lot of shrubbery and stuff like that, but never mind. <laughs> that stuff doesn't even compare to everything else. It's kind of like a scale, right? It's, it's the shrubbery and all the other greenery, beautiful mountains and all this and all that, that kind of trumps that. So if you're worried about us being a big desert, don't worry about it. Plus we got a ton, a ton of natural parts that just, you gotta be down here. I, I can go on and on and on, but come down here and check it out. This is kind of like my favorite one here is the rich culture that we have here. We got so many different influences. You can see it in the architecture in the um, cuisine that we have here, the different restaurants, the museums, the, the art galleries, all of that, man. It, it's just super crazy how diverse we are in that culture aspect that it, it, when it clashes together, it's so beautiful. It's, it's awesome. If, in my opinion, if you ask me, so if you're into all that, you want to head to old town and check out all that old architecture, or you just kind of want to head, um, east and and check out to see how people live in the mountains or you want to come feel that city living head south it, it's still kind of stuck in time if you ask me it's pretty cool super rural area ton of farms within the city it's super cool man like i enjoy it i love living here because i get a little bit of everything every time that i step out outside This is gonna be a favorite one for a lot of you people out there. It's affordable, right? You can spend a good chunk amount of money and anywhere else in the United States, you're probably not gonna get what we offer you here. I hear it all the time with people moving down from California, like I sold my home, now I'm gonna buy an even bigger house, better house for cash. It's crazy. Even down to like uh, amenities, leisure, stuff like that. It's not crazy overboard expensive. You're not gonna be paying you know, hundreds of dollars just to enjoy a night. You might get a little crazy and you might, it might happen, but that's all on you. Like, I'm just gonna leave it up to that. If you're just trying to hang out, do something that's, you know, low key, you wanna go on a hike, you wanna go to dinner, you wanna go to lunch, you wanna go out and have some drinks. Everything is pretty reasonable price here. It's not 
crazy. It's, it's the reason why people get outside more because they can afford to do more things. And because their living situation is simpler. And they got more bang for the buck. Come on. How are you going to fight that? The, the art here. The art is super big here. People are super big DIYers. They love to make sure that they can put a stamp on the stuff that they make. You'll see it everywhere that you go. You know, super bright colors, murals on the wall, art exhibits just kind of at every other corner. I got a ton of friends that do their own art shows, stuff like that. They put um, events together. It's crazy. I used to be big in the hip hop culture and a lot of the people there just have events every other weekend. You can go down and they have different kinds of merchants there. A lot of the people who do street art are there. Small vendors who put, you know, knickknacks together are there. It, it's super cool when you get out to the community and check out what people are doing because art thrives here. You might not get rich, but you can make a living off of the art that you make here. It's crazy. I like to see that, you know, people thriving in their arts. I'm a big artist myself. It's cool to see other people succeed in it, man. This is by far probably the number one reason why people move down here and probably the best. It's the climate here, you know, mild weather, almost sunny, you know, 300 plus days out of the year. It's great, right? Right now it's raining. It's going to stop here throughout the day and we'll probably won't see any more rain until, you know, mid April, right? Like they say, April showers bring me flowers. It's very true here. We get a, during the monsoon season, we get a ton of rain. And we need it. God knows we need it because come springtime, we're going to see all these great plants and trees just flourish. It's going to look so beautiful down here that when I look up to the mountains, the mountains are going to look a little brown, but gray a majority of the time. I mean, gray, not gray, green a majority of the time. Gosh, if they look gray, it'd be kind of dreary. <laughs> it'd almost be kind of scary. Man, this rain is super needed. I enjoy the rain. I get to kind of open up my big blinds here on my door and just kind of enjoy the rain, sit back, kick back. And we're so lax here that, hey, today after we're doing, we're done working, we might just hang around and sip some tea, drink some coffee or whatever, chill out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, guys, and there you have it. Five best things about living here in our beautiful city of Albuquerque. Later down the road, we'll talk about some other things, but, you know, real quick touch on scenery, culture, events, different things to do here in leisure, affordability. And also we talked about the weather and the climate here, which is super awesome. But hey, as much as I love doing these videos for you guys, I would also love to be that agent that helps you guys out with any of your real estate needs. So that number popping up on the screen here is my direct line. So if there's anything I could ever do for you guys, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help. Until next time, guys. Peace.